rare adventures of Biggles. Biggles was mystified by von Stalin's attempt to pin them in the old hut, even more so when he outsmarted his enemy, and the German boasted that the English party had been delayed long enough. However, Biggles shrugs off his worry and with his friends starts back for the flames. In the meantime, Colonel Summers, the chief of police in Kingston, has borrowed a Catalina amphibian for Bertie to replace the plane that crashed. As Bertie is still under doctor's orders, the colonel insists on accompanying him back to Inagua. They put down in Manowar Bay and go ashore in search of their friends. The beach is deserted until two men appear from behind the sand dunes. They are Zaratov and the Negro Morgan. And the guns they are carrying make their intention obvious. Oh, much as I hate to say it, Chief Yell Sausage, but we'd better reach Skywards. Put my hands up for a couple of crooks. Certainly not. Uh, it'd be wiser, old Bean. Do you not see our guns? Put up your hands! Of all the confounded impudence! Yes, well, apart from being uh, cheeky, these blighters are killers. Do it, old trout, otherwise we won't live to argue. Oh, very well. But they won't get away with it. I will not fall again. Put up your hands or I shoot! There. First time I've ever done this. Who are you? The foolish-looking man I have seen before. Oh, I say. He is the head of police, Colonel Summers. Yes, you know me, don't you, Morgan? Erich did not say you would be here. And because I am, you're likely to be in very serious trouble. I don't like being held up by thugs. There is no question now we kill them. With Summers, it is too dangerous for them to leave. No, that is not Eric's plan. He's a fool. Sometimes I think he is frightened of killing. He is an arrogant German swine, but he is clever. We shall do as he suggests. Well, well, well. Old Eric gives the orders now, what? Be silent! We are intelligent enough to use all the abilities of our party. I have my razor. In two minutes they'd be finished and no one would ever know. It would defeat the plan. Whatever your plan is, for heaven's sake, put it into operation. My arms are getting tired. You brought the rope, Morgan? Yes. It is in my coat pocket. Then check them for weapons and tie their hands behind their backs. It will be safer. You do it. I have only one good arm. Oh, very well. Don't take your eyes off them and shoot if there's trouble. You can trust me for that. I like the razor best. But I can still shoot. What happened to the other arm, old boot polish? Why the belly bandage, what? Shut up. Oh, certainly not. Eric told you to keep us alive, so you're most unlikely to kill us for talking. Now what the... Uh, oh! I have two good hands. More insolence from you and you will feel him again. I won't always have mine tied behind my back, old reptile. One day I might wreck an arm of yours to pair you off with Morgan. Which one of our blokes did it, Napoleon? One who will die for it before he leaves the island. You are all pigs, but there is one with red hair. Ah, good old Ginge. I must remember to congratulate the sausage. Oh, you were told to keep quiet. Oh, look here. I won't stand for this. You keep quiet too, or you will be treated the same. You don't seem to realize who you're dealing with, man. I, I stand in no fear of minor police officials. Minor police officials? Well, of all the confounded cheek. Ah, they are tied now. You can take them to the yacht, Morgan. I shall wait by the plane until they come. Eric. Always it's Eric. Who is it has carried out the work of the party here for years? Von Stalheim has been employed for this assignment. He has the necessary talent for it. We will follow his plan. While it goes well, maybe. But if these pigs try to escape on their way to the yard... You may wound them. No more. They must be kept alive, but I do not care if they are hurt. Oh, uh, you needn't worry, old bean. We must have a positive loathing for bullet holes in our anatomy. What is this nonsense about a plan? What are you trying to do? That is our affair, policeman. You will learn when we are ready to tell you. Take them to the yacht, Morgan. You will stay in this cabin. The door will be bolted, and if you're sensible, you won't try to escape. You know, that's the thing my dear old Aunt Agatha deplored about me. She always said I was lacking in sense. I'll tell you something, Englishman. I'd like you to be stupid. Then I'd be able to kill you, see? Ah, naughty, naughty. 
Eric wouldn't like that sort of talk. I don't care about von Stalin. You make one wrong move and see what happens. There are three other men on this boat, and they're all my men. They'll do as I say. I saw them. <laughs> you must have combed the drapes of Kingston's waterfront to find those characters. Nice boys, aren't they, policemen? You'll know what'd happen if they got their hands on you. Get out of here and leave us alone. I'll see you again. Then maybe we'll follow my plan. Oh, it's outrageous, Lizzie. I'll have these fellows clapped into jail for this. Well, first, Chief Earl Sausage, uh, we'll need to get out. Where are the trout's in jail at the moment? If I could only get back to Kingston. Well, why worry but... about Kingston? Biggles is on the island. A word in his shell-like ear would work positive wonders. Or would it? Mm, what do you mean? I'm just wondering if their famous plan has something to do with Biggles. Mm, it may have. I've no idea. Now, von Stahlheim's the most intelligent sausage, and he's a darn good pilot. You think he'd take our plane? Yes, I'm barely sure of it, old Bean, if he wanted it. Look, supposing Biggles has found the jolly papers, what would Starley do? Try to take them from him, I suppose. Precisely. And as brute force doesn't go over very well with our blokes, he'd try cunning, wouldn't he? He seems that type of man. He is. An idea that would appeal immensely to him is the old business of hostages. You think he'll threaten to kill us unless the papers are handed over? That's it. And he'll have the plane ready to make his getaway the moment the papers are in his dirty belly clutches. An ingenious idea. But, of course, Biggles was, wouldn't agree. He'd try to rescue us. Oh, no doubt about that. But he may be forced to hand over the papers first. I can't see the old trout allowing us to be carved up by Morgan's razor just for some measly blueprints. Mm, this is worse than I thought. Oh, what fools we were not to be on guard when we came ashore. Well, too late to think about that now, Albine. We must set the old grey matter to work on getting out of here. And Biggles had better start scratching his cranium for a way to hang on to those bally papers. Hang on a minute, Tom. This isn't the way back to the kite. Oh, my word it is. Uh, no fear. I don't remember that rock formation. <laughs> well, Biggles told us to be the advance guard, Ginny, so we'd better make sure. Well, that clump of rocks definitely wasn't on the track we followed out. Well, I can't say I noticed it, but we've been following the right compass bearing. We can't be far out. Look, I don't like being out at all with all those crooks about. We are veering too far to the left, I think. Well, I'm pretty sure Biggles and I came this way. Well, you probably followed a slightly different course to you and Algy, that's all. Yes, maybe. Well, let's be certain. Uh, hunt around for, for a landmark that one of us recognises. Okay. <laughs> I don't want Biggles and Algy to laugh at us when they catch up. <laughs> if we're off the beam, they may not catch up with us. It's all very well splitting forces in case of an ambush, but it won't help if one party gets lost. We're not lost. I know where we are now. Are you sure? Yes. See that clearing through there? Good grief. There's a hut. And someone living in it. Yes, a fat old negress. We tried to speak to her when we came through, but she wasn't receiving callers. Wait, wait. A negress? Yes, a funny old duck. She was scared stiff of us. We saw a negress pinching eggs from the Flemingers' nest yesterday. She has a donkey with her. Oh, uh, that'll be her. Oh, there. You can see the donkey tethered by the hut. Tom, she's probably the one. Well, I said that. Uh, no, no. The one who pinched the papers. Someone took them to the hut. It wasn't the crooks. It wasn't us. It must have been the old negress. By Jupiter, I didn't think of her. No one did. No reason to suspect an old woman like that. But I'll bet we're right. Hey, Biggles! Algy, get a move on! We've worked out where the papers are! <laughs> Someone coming down the companionway now, old Bean. What are you planning to do? I'm still vague about it. So am I, but we're going to try and bolt. There's a chair in the corner that I can use as a club. Your job, Chief, is to keep this blighter occupied until I have a chance to use it. Uh, I'll do what I can. Shh, he's coming. Napoleon Morgan say you can have this food. Food, you call it? A hunk of black bread. He say if you get cheeky about it, I'd take it away. Just a second. I know you. Captain Kidd, they call you. Did the term in jail for piracy about ten years ago. Yeah, and I know you. 
cover. That's enough, you scum. If you know me, you know my position. Yeah. You, the boss copper. I'm chief of police in Kingston. That means I can hunt you down and have you punished. How dare you behave like this to me? You don't get me again. I don't go back to Jamaica. Napoleon, he promised me. I'll take you back. I'll drag you back with my own hands. Like you... go away. I got a gun. Now, listen. Ah, 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 good work, old bean. Now, I'll just grab old kitty's gun. Ah, ah, got it. Now for fresh air and freedom, what? Yeah. Get back, Lizzie. There's someone at the head of the companion. Von Stahlheim! The Englishman looks straight at the face of the German peering into the darkness below. Can they overpower him and escape? Will Biggles discover the papers at the old woman's hut? The next episode will be most exciting in The Air Adventures of Biggles. Ha, 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 ha!